Um, when I got married three years ago, I was dieting and exercising at that point, but again, I had never been on steroids at that point. I wasn't even diagnosed with lupus at that point. And so before my wedding, you know, like I dieted and I did some exercise, which helped me get down to, I think I was 143 or 144 for my wedding. And, you know, while it wasn't my old 120 pounds, I was okay with it. Um, but now I'm like 20 pounds heavier. Um, and like even when I was on prednisone, I never reached this weight. I never, I, I never reached this weight and I don't get it. Like my diet has never really changed over the years. Like I've pretty much done everything the same. I mean, I do have my bouts of days where I'm so hungry all the time, probably from the steroids and I eat, but I try like to monitor that and I try to only do it once in a while. And I mean, like I said, I've been eating salads every day now for like two weeks and you know, lots of fruits and stuff and I'm gaining more weight instead of losing it. So I don't know what that is. I don't know if maybe my thyroid's out of whack again. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to be bringing that up. Um, and a, and a toe. Um, and work is getting more difficult. This last week was horrible. Uh, we, I'm in a toddler room, however, they got special permission for these new kids that wanted, their parents wanted them in our center. We don't have an infant room. These kids should be in an infant room, um, but they're in the toddler room. And toddlers are supposed to be 18 months to two and a half. Well, we had a new one start this week who's 14 months old and another one who's 15 months old. And they can't climb the stairs that we need to go up to go outside into our playground because the daycare's in a basement. Um, my room partner has a bad back. And so I'm stuck doing a lot of heavy lifting at work because of that. I have to carry these babies up and down the stairs now. Um, I have to pull the beds out from the gym into our room um, and I have to put them back. Um, I It's just been a lot more physically demanding in the last week and I think it's only going to get worse because like I said, we had two start, but we're also having another young one start. And with all these young ones, like, you're constantly on your toes because they're lost in our room. It's really ridiculous. They're lost in our room because all, all the kids are so much older than them, and so they get bored, and they're constantly getting into things, and you constantly have to be running after them. And like I said, I have to carry them all the time, and it's stressing me, it's adding more stress to me mentally and adding more stress to my body physically. So I'm at a point now where I'm really starting to actively look for other work. Um, however, until I find something, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, I would like to maybe bring it up. I know, like I said, my supervisor knows I have lupus, but I don't think she realizes the severity of it. I don't think she realizes how I struggle. You know, just like everyone says, you don't look sick. You look great. Like, to everyone there, they probably think I'm fine because I do everything I'm supposed to do. But they don't realize how hard it is on my body and how hard it is to even do those tasks. Like, it takes everything in me to really get myself to do them and complete them. Um, so that's, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to bring it up, what to say, what not to say. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know. I'm. But anyways, that's the updates. Um, there's really nothing else I can say. Um, I have to go and check on the laundry right now. Um, and I'll just keep you guys posted about what happens at the lupus clinic. See you guys in the next video.